We certainly do, Lanise, uh, but Letitia, you are certainly right. It is finally feeling like the holiday season again. Temperatures plummeted in a very big way on the back edge of that front yesterday, and we're going to see the temperatures fall even farther now that the sky is getting ready to clear. But even though it's still cloudy, the storm tracker radar is quiet. So if you are doing some Christmas shopping this evening or traveling the roadways to any destination, you're not going to have to worry about any wet roadways, and you're certainly not going to have to worry about fog. But I would certainly recommend a jacket. Mobile, you are sitting right now at 41 degrees. Pascagoula, your temperature currently 44. Pensacola, you're at 48. And Fort Walton Beach at 50. But as we've already said this hour, the actual air temperature is one thing. If we factor in these breezy north winds showing up between 10 and 20 miles an hour across the entire Gulf Coast, it feels a lot colder than it actually is. Mobile, Pascagoula, your wind coming in out of the north at 14 miles an hour. Pensacola, yours is at 12. And Fort Walton Beach, your wind at 18 miles an hour. And with those north winds, it's putting the air temperature temperature, at least it's making it feel like it's in the mid to lower 40s. That's the current wind chill value for Pensacola and Fort Walton Beach Mobile. Your wind chill value is 33 degrees, so very cold. And even though lows tonight will get near this temperature, we are going to see the wind chill get down into the lower 20s for most of you tonight. Now, the rain is long gone along that cold front that swept through here yesterday. It's bringing the nonstop rain for places like uh, Tallahassee, the eastern panhandle, uh, the circle city of Dothan, southwestern Georgia, all the way up into Augusta and the Carolina coastline. We're going to say goodbye to that thing tonight. It moves off the east coast. It's not coming back. Our sky, though, still overcast, but surface high pressure is moving in from Louisiana, and the closer it gets, you see what's happening to the cloud coverage. It's starting to break apart because surface high pressure creates sinking air and it crushes the clouds. So we will end up clear tonight, and we will see a mostly clear sky for your Christmas Eve Tuesday and your Christmas Day on Wednesday. We showed you the future cast model, which showed a clear sky for the next 24 hours, but let's go through the temperatures overnight tonight and into your Christmas Eve morning. Most of you will fall into the lower 30s, so a good chunk of you will be below freezing. Bayman at 31, Bruton at 31, Evergreen at 30. We could have some upper 20s inland around places like Chatham, Grove Hill, and Monroeville. 35 degrees for Pascagoula, Mobile around 34, Pensacola 39. If you're around the immediate Gulf Coast, like Gulf Shores or Destin, your overnight low this evening will more than likely be in the lower 40s, but most of you will be between 30 and 34 with the sky clear and a breezy north wind. Tomorrow afternoon, beautiful for Christmas Eve, the high hitting 54, 52 if you live south of I-10, sky staying mostly sunny, and here's how the next seven days stack up. As old St. Nick comes to visit you tomorrow night, lows will dip down to 29, and then for Christmas Day on Wednesday, beautiful with a high of 55, we stay dry all the way through the weekend itself with our next chance of rain not returning until until Monday of next week.